What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is actually going to be a tutorial for a 4-in-1 zero tick farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you guys are excited, please consider dropping a like. If you guys want to see more things like this, please consider subscribing. And let's get right into the video. Alright, so to be completely honest with you guys, I was actually intending this video to be a um, just a simple cactus farm. Uh, but I figured it was too boring. It was too similar to the sugarcane farm, the bamboo farm. Um, just a minor just change. It has, you know, that block there to go ahead and actually knock the cactus off as it grows. Uh, I didn't even use water streams because I was lazy. I thought this was going to make for a boring video, so I decided why not, instead of just going ahead and making a bunch of individual farms, why not combine all four possible farms that I can do with zero tech into one? So if I come over here and show you, currently we have cactus, we have bamboo, we have sugar cane, and we even have kelp actually currently being zero tick harvested. Um, in this farm. It's all getting funneled down here into a little bit of the water stream and then it actually goes ahead and actually gets sorted into chests down here. Um, so something we do need to know though is that the kelp will actually get harvested a lot quicker than um, cactus. I believe sugar cane um, is about the same as the cactus and bamboo is just slightly less than the kelp. So for this reason you might want to go and actually expand upon the uh, storage for maybe the kelp and maybe the bamboo. And as far as drop rates, um, the kelp and the bamboo will actually collect you around 3,000 per hour, whereas the cactus and the sugar cane uh, will be around 1,000 an hour. And with this design, it actually does appear that the cactus um, chunk boundary does kind of matter. So if you notice the, um, the blocks just popping off, uh, you will actually have to go ahead and try to move the, uh, the device itself. All right, and with showing you guys how this goes ahead and how this works, let's hop right into building it. All right, to begin, go ahead and place four blocks just like this. Go ahead and place a sticky piston on top of each of them. Come over one block, place a block in front of it with a one block air gap between. Place some sand and place eight more blocks just like this. Go ahead and connect the sticky pistons with some redstone like this. Come around one of the sides and place some blocks just like this. Place a redstone repeater here, a redstone torch here, and a piece of redstone there. Um, a lever will go ahead and actually shut on and off the clock. Go ahead and connect the clock to the redstone there. And now this will go ahead and constantly retract and extend the um, sand. Shut the device off. Go ahead and place two pieces of sand on top of each piston head. Go ahead and go to the opposite side of the lever. Go ahead and place a redstone torch here, a block here, a redstone torch, a block, a redstone torch, a block. Place a piece of redstone and then pull this out to the third piece of sand. So right there, bring the redstone all the way across. Now we will be placing a regular piston on the three sand blocks. This sand block over here will actually have the cactus and we will not be using a piston head to actually knock it off. Come over to the first piece of sand and actually go ahead and place a block just right there so that there is a one block behind and one block above air gap. To ensure that this setup actually does work, go ahead and place a piece of cactus here where the block is. And then for the remaining three, we're just going to test it with bamboo and later we're going to change out this one here for sugarcane and this one here for kelp. And the system is currently working. All right, so now we need to modify this one to actually have sugar cane. So we will be placing a water block right here in this gap. So go ahead and dam it off in the front and the back and place a block there. And now you're free to place your sugar cane. Ensure that it still functions, which it does. So at this stage, I do actually go ahead and recommend blocking off a lot of the inner workings so that they do not get affected while you're making your water streams. So go ahead and actually build an outer casing around the entire device so that the redstone is protected. All right, this is gonna be my framework I'm gonna be working with. So I did actually go ahead and close off all the redstone so that if I make any mistakes, I won't wash anything away. And I'm also gonna swap out the block here for the cactus, just some glass to make it look nice. But the mechanics are still the same. And I'm actually gonna plot the framework one more block back this way. So when I do put in the water stream, it actually will go and will function. And I will place a little bit of a lip around the entire device as well as pull out these sides right here. Also placing some sort of light block, such as a glowstone inside, is actually going to go ahead and help the, um, the bamboo and other crops grow when it is nighttime. 
and I will actually place some glass everywhere except directly behind the cactus. That has to be an air block, but you can't really tell. All right, so now to move on to the kelp, go ahead and place a sign here, a sign there, 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 here, 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 and here. And now you're free to place a block of water here and there. And you can place the kelp down. And uh, now we should be able to turn this on and it should actually go ahead and multiply the kelp, which it is doing. The piston head is actually getting waterlogged, which is keeping water there so that this can grow. And of course, if we didn't place these middle signs here, the waterlogged sign would actually spill out. So it is necessary. All right, so now that is actually every single one of these four being automatically harvested. So now we just need to collect them and actually sort them down at the chest if we like. If you don't want to sort them, you don't have to, uh, but I would like to. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this block here. I'm going to be placing water here, 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 and there. I actually need to real quickly move the lever to the side now. All right, so we need to go ahead and drop this water stream down a couple blocks. We're actually going to go ahead and come down this way. And we're going to run a little trough right here, all the way across. I'm going to pull this bar across right here. And then we can go and actually break this off. But we will actually need signs all the way across as well to go ahead and stop the water from interfering with this stream down here. And now you can actually either choose to run the stream to one side or down in the middle like I'm going to do. So if you want it down the middle, go ahead and just do something like that. It'll collect here, and if you go and you actually break that, you can get all the items collected right here. So now all of my items, in theory, should either go ahead and go down here and into the hopper, or in the case of the occasional item, it may actually get stuck on top of the block and just despawn. But that's completely fine. So at this point, I would actually go ahead and recommend closing up the entire device so that you don't accidentally break it in the future. Um, a piece of glass in the front will actually be a nice little viewing area, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Uh, but just make sure you are not going to mess it up. All right, so now mine looks like this, and I'm actually gonna, just going to place a little bit of a viewing platform right here so that we have some place to stand as we are staring at our masterpiece. And I have to say, it is kind of fun just to stare at. Oh, and also at this point, I feel the need to actually go ahead and plug my social media, so guys... Please consider following me on Instagram and uh, Twitter. You guys can see pictures of my dog and other things like that. All right, guys, for the item sort, I'm go ahead and come down here to the hopper. And I recommend actually placing just four blocks that are going to be temporary. And go ahead and place a double chest here. This right here, this is actually going to be our output. Uh, for any items that don't get sorted that actually that, that accidentally get into the system, so let's say you're working on it and you drop a couple blocks. If you don't want the blocks going into your actual sorted system, uh, this is going to be an output of miscellaneous items that do not belong. So go ahead and actually just start feeding the hoppers directly into that chest. Something like that. And then you're actually going to want to go and pick the side. You're going to have the storage system on, so I'm going to do the left side. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and come down here. And for these middle four, these four actually are going to be these sorting hoppers. I'm going to start feeding them into this block right there. And then you will actually need to come down below as well and do the same thing for one block below. So like that, and then like that. So the hoppers should all look like this currently. And if you're smart, you probably would build this a little taller and not have to deal with digging out the ground. I unfortunately was not that smart, even though I've done this before and I made the same mistake that time too. All right, at this point, go ahead and start building some double chests just like this into these hoppers. And this is actually going to be our four sorted items, so go ahead and get some. All right, so go ahead and get some item frames and go ahead and place them on the ends of the chests. And this is going to be for our kelp, our sugar cane, our bamboo, and our cactus. Make sure you clear out plenty of room in the back here because this is actually going to be where the logic for the sorter is. All right, come along back here and start placing some solid blocks on the back sides of the hoppers. It should look something like that. Come along down here with the obsidian and go ahead and place it along like that. And then now you'll actually want to go and get some regular pistons, actually direct it up into the obsidian. So do something like that. Should look like that. Place some torches on the back side of the pistons up into the two solid blocks. Go and place some comparators out of the block on top of the obsidian. Place some solid blocks just like this and like this. Place some redstone along it, 
here and here. Place some glass here and then some more redstone right there. All right, so the sorting system should look something like this. Now, this is just one design I'm using on Bedrock. Um, this is actually supposedly one of the most stable designs. There are other cheaper designs that you can make that are simpler. They may not be more. They may not be as stable as this, but if you feel like using it, go ahead. All right, for this next part, you're actually going to go ahead and need a unique item. So I'm just going to name some paper so that this is something I can't accidentally run through my system. Uh, this will be entirely intentional. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the first chest. So this is going to be kelp. So go on this middle hopper here. We're going to place a single stack of kelp, and this will actually drop down to 45 items. And essentially how this works is that this comparator here is testing for the items inside this hopper. And when there are greater than 45, what happens, it actually goes ahead and turns off this redstone torch, thus locking this hopper, meaning nothing can flow through. So if we have 45 of these items, and then we go ahead and place these here, locking out any additional slots. We'll go down to 41, but it's still 45 total. But it will go ahead and actually intentionally lock this so that we only get kelp getting into here and allowing nothing else to pass. So go ahead and do that for the rest of the items in here. All right, now all the hoppers look something like this. Now the logic is done. So this is actually currently sorting correctly for our farm. And just to go and test it out, go ahead and turn it on. Allow it to run for a couple of seconds and just make sure you shut it off. And what you should find is that A, there should be nothing in this chest here because we haven't accidentally put in any random items in the system. And there should only be kelp in here, only sugarcane in there, only bamboo in there, and only cactus in there. So this is fully functioning. Now the next thing to do is just pretty it up. And obviously I'm not going to tell you how to go in and how to actually design the layout of your farm um, when it comes to just the aesthetics. But if you do want to go and see mine, I actually like putting a bunch of um, glowstone behind my chest and putting a um, piece of glass over the top. All right, and although this isn't the prettiest thing in the world, this is actually going to go ahead and be my farm. So it has a nice little sorting system down here. If you come around the front, you're actually going to go ahead and have the miscellaneous chest here to go and access. And there's just a double staircase leading up to a viewing platform so you can see the thing in action. I'm just going to turn it on one more time for you guys. I know it's pretty loud, so I do apologize. Um, but it's fully functioning, and it's pretty cool. You can obviously probably build this as big or as small as you want. I just did it like this because I thought it looked nice and it was kind of just convenient to make everything real simple. If you want to make it more compact, go ahead. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the entire farm. So thank you so much for sticking around this long. And as always, guys, if you like this, please consider dropping a like. If you guys want to see more things like this, please consider subscribing. But until I see you guys next time, take care and bye-bye.